YouTube, Dustin Ryder here with my review of the Super Sentai Artisan Doron Changer from Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Pretty late to the game on this one, I wasn't sure if I was going to be getting into any of the Super Sentai Artisan uh, morphers and changes and whatnot. Um, I decided to go for this one though because I always thought it looked neat um, and I had more of an interest in it than Dino Buckler which is basically getting another power morpher and I've never been a huge fan of um, the uh, Dorai Changer, I believe, from, from, I almost say from Ghost Sager, but from Die Ranger. Um, so, yeah, I decided to basically to jump in with this because I managed to find a good price on the aftermarket, so that's why this is so late. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and just take a look. Real quick, I just want to highlight, the box is really nice. It's just, I really like it. It's kind of got a retro feel to it, but it's just, it's a nice looking box. You got a picture of the Changer there, and you got a picture of all five Rangers. Um, and then on the back you get this really, like, mysterious and cool looking shot. And then another like promo shot of them, you got the logo, another shot of them. I don't know, I, just, I thought it was a nice box. Um, and of all the things, you do get some little bonuses with this thing. You get, here's the little, it's like the little, like, container, not lamp isn't the right word, jug or whatever. I don't remember the name for it in Cock Ranger, I'm sorry, I've only seen like 20 of Cock Ranger and I need to go back and rewatch it and finish the whole thing. But like, it's basically what they find Ninja Man in and I believe it was also seen in MMPR Season 3. It's been a minute since I've seen it, but... Um, but yeah, of all the things, you get this and it's actually pretty nicely detailed and it's like made of an almost nice matte finish that makes it look like realistically like a little pot. And then you got like the little hammer in front and of all the things, I think it's a little bit die cast, like it's got a bit a heft to it. It's just, I don't know, it's nice, I guess. It's just, I didn't need that. Like I was like, you know what? This thing's not going to be a worthy purchase if this hammer isn't heavy, you know. And you can actually fit him in there, which is a nice little touch. But, you know, I kind of want to display the little figure out. And here is the actual little figure, which also is actually... I keep saying the word actual in this one, and I apologize. I feel like I do that a lot, and then I... Anyway. But it's actually... Oh my god, I did it again. I'm sorry. It is, like, nicely detailed. Um, it's kind of like, I would say, maybe a little shorter than a Ranger Key. Maybe about the size give or take, of an American Ranger key, but it's got some pretty solid little details, and it's it's a nice little bonus, you know, it's not like I would have been mad if this thing didn't have this, but it's a nice bonus. Okay, moving on to the main event here. So overall, look-wise, I think it looks pretty good, hence look-wise. Um, it definitely, uh, without the metals inside it, which they are, spoiler alert, it does feel a bit light and kind of cheap, which is a bit disappointing just because, you know, it is kind of a premium Bandai changer item. I mean, as the whole buying a changer outright, importing it isn't as cheap as picking up a morpher down at the store, but it is a little more expensive than that. Luckily, I did find a good price, but just considering the price both that I paid and that was retail, it just did feel a little bit light. But look-wise, I think it looks good. I think this gold uh, chrome-like finish looks really nice on it. Uh, the design here looks good. It's very simple, but I and but I really like it. It looks kind of elegant, and it does convey that sort of ancient ninja feel. You get a nice like actual rope here, the little golden ball on the end. So it is good looking. I just felt it did look a little cheap uh, but speaking of the metals you open up this little thing here and you can store all five metals in there which is really nice and those are all nice little uh, die cast metal they're a little scratched up but um, still and I like being able to store them just because you know you're not gonna be using all of them you'll probably keep one in there or none but it's nice that I don't have to keep have it somewhere random where I might lose them I'm just gonna use this one for the the purposes of the review but yeah they all slide in there nicely and like I said that was what was kind of giving it a bit of heft to it sitting here when I was holding it otherwise it was a little bit light okay so um, you can pop this down manually uh, I'm gonna just do that you're supposed to press the button for the transformation but I want this to be in there when I um, activate it for whatever reason um, so you snap it in there and it's pretty easy and I'll, I'll get into something about that in a minute but you can do that manually should you so desire but you press this bottom button here. You get those sounds, and that's not dependent on any coins being in there, no different sounds or anything. I just wanted it to be in there for authenticity. And you press it again, you'll get that. And you'll keep getting it. And then if you hold it... One second. Okay, if you hold it... All right, now this top button here will give you like communication uh, E sounds. Whoop. There we go. That's more like emergency sound. There you go. 
and you got like the little beeping noise depending on how like heavy you press it down we get the picture this is just like I like that it's kind of authentic but it, there you go see um, and sometimes uh, it works a little different or at least I feel the touch on my button is different where it's more distinct if that makes any sense this is more for a light press quick press and that's for a hold but like mine's a little bit touchy so sometimes it'll operate different but I don't know anyway what I was saying before I distracted myself and you can side note you can activate these without it being open uh, but anyway distracted myself again is that like I like that they made it all authentic but it's just it brings back such memories of like just getting morphers here at this time with where it was just beeps and boots 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 guys beeps and boops and little like red lights and now it's like all a bunch of voices and mainly for Sentai stuff and not Power Rangers as much um, well it is now but you know what I mean but it's like all kinds of voices and you need basically DLC uh, but anyway, overall, this is a nice changer. I think that it's a bit expensive for what you get in a lot of ways, so I would definitely try to find the best price possible, which I think is just good advice in general. Like, I wouldn't be like, guys, this is so good, I want you to overpay for it. No, but I mean, but particular for this, is that I think if you're interested in it, I think, uh, and you're a huge Cocker Ranger fan or whatever, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a really nice looking changer, and I'm glad I have it in my collection, but I would just make sure to find the best deal for it, because I don't feel the way that it feels overall is quite worth the price they're asking. And I hope, like, in the future that fur further, further, excuse me, Sentai Artisan releases do feel more worth your money. And that's sort of a feel I talk about in Sentai Figure Arts and Rider Figure Arts, which is kind of hard to explain, but it's just this feeling you get when you get a collectible item, and you're like, okay, this was worth the money I paid for it, you know, but that should make sense to upwards of three people. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Dawson Rider, signing out.